We have a number of items in the cathedral which relate to the Battle of the Boyne. This battle was fought in 1690 between two rivals to the throne of England, Scotland and Ireland. The Catholic King James had been ousted from his position two years previously by King William III. Both men's forces met near the town of Drogheda on either side of the River Boyne. Before the battle began, King James held a mass in the cathedral, thereby restoring it to Catholicism. Unfortunately for him, King William's forces won the battle and the event marked a crucial turning point in the feud. In the aftermath of the battle, King William traveled to Dublin and also visited the cathedral. He used the building to hold a service and St. Patrick's was once again restored to Protestantism. The chair which William used during the historic service is still on display in the building. During his visit, he gave thanks to God for his famous victory and took the opportunity to bury his second in command, the Duke of Schomburg, in the cathedral. Schomburg had been killed during the battle as he led his men across the River Boyne and his body was buried in a tomb in the wall of the choir. Another member of William's army is buried in the cathedral under the steps of the altar, Lord Lisburn, a member of the Loftus family, was killed during the siege of Limerick a year after the Battle of the Boyne. His body was placed alongside other members of his family underneath the altar, and the cannonball which had been responsible for his death was hung above his grave. The 17th century was clearly a turbulent time in the history of the cathedral, as its fate was determined by whichever of these two men emerged as the victor of the Williamite Wars. After King William returned St. Patrick's to Protestantism in 1690, it remained a Protestant cathedral and is today the National Cathedral for the Church of Ireland.